Hey, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of the book where I got this title from, On This Day in Tudor History, which takes you through the year with lots of On This Day in Tudor History events. Now for today, I'm actually going to read you an extract from my book. Um, and I'm taking you back to 1553. So this was the final few months of uh, King Edward VI's reign. Of course, he died in July 1553. So on this day in 1553, the 25th of May 1553, a triple wedding took place at Durham House, the London residence of John Dudley, Duke of Northumberland. Lady Jane Grey married Guildford Dudley, one of the Duke's sons. Her sister, Lady Catherine Grey, married Lord Henry Herbert, son of the Earl of Pembroke. And Guildford's sister, 12-year-old Lady Catherine Dudley, married Lord Henry Hastings. Historian Leander Delisle describes how all three of the young couples were dressed in silver and gold. Fabrics forfeited to the King from the Duke of Somerset in 1551 and figuratively, at least, marked with his blood. And that's a quote from Leander. King Edward VI was too ill to attend the marriage and was in fact dying, but it was an extravagant spectacle attended by most of the English nobility and celebrated with jousting, feasting and masks. Now, although John Dudley is often thought to have masterminded Lady Jane Grey's marriage to his son Guildford, in order to further his control of the country on the death of Edward VI. Leander de Lisle points out that the marriage was, according to William Sissel, the brainwave of Elizabeth Brooke, second wife of William Parr, Marquess of Northampton. Christine Hartwig, in her wonderful article, John Dudley, The Family Man, writes that Dudley and Henry Grey, Jane's father, were second cousins once removed, and more importantly, they were also good friends, and Henry Grey owed both his place on the Privy Council and his dukedom to John Dudley. Thus, a match between their children was not unlikely or inappropriate. There doesn't seem to be anything suspicious or underhanded in this marriage match. We can argue until we're blue in the face about whether this marriage was a plot to snatch the crown from its rightful heirs or an example of routine actions of dynastic politics. But there is no evidence either way. Nobody was to know on that May Day in 1553 that the bride and groom had less than nine months of marriage and life ahead of them. So that is what happened on this day in Tudor history, the 25th of May, 1553, in the reign of King Edward VI. We have a triple wedding taking place at the home of the Dudleys in London, something that was obviously going to have huge knock-on effects for uh, at least two of the people involved. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm so glad that you're enjoying uh, my uh, look at the year uh, through looking at the um, Tudor history events that took place. I've got lots lined up for you for the rest of the year. We've got births, deaths, marriages, executions, of course, coronations, battles, annulments, all sorts of things. So uh, do keep tuned in. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking around about there hit the bell to be notified of videos as they go live and if you're enjoying these videos then please do give them a like thank you i'll see you tomorrow take care bye, -bye.